Hi, this is Mike 89 Welcome to my Sonic 3 and Knuckles tutorial series. This uh, tutorial series will cover the run with Sonic. Now, this is probably the hardest run of all three, and it's not for the faint of heart. However, this stage, this first stage, is quite simple and a nice way to um, lead into some of the mayhem that comes up ahead. So, without any further ado, let's begin. So, we start off doing a full spin dash here, and right away, Around about here, somewhere on this flat ground here, what you actually want to do is just quickly tap left, just to take a little bit off your speed, so that when you go up through this ramp here, see the spring up the top? You want to hit the underside of it like that. If you're going too fast, you'll come up and you'll hit the side of it, which will obviously slow you down. Hang on through here. These vines coming up here are kind of um, random based on um, how long uh, you've been in a stage since you've powered on. So it's not really anything you can control unless you hard reset between each attempt, but they're not really in favorable position the first time around. Obviously no, nothing happened with this boss. That doesn't actually save any time. That's just something I like to do. Um, not too much to say about the second half of the stage. Aside from that, that loop can stop you sometimes if you're going too quickly through it. Uh, now, what we're going to do is we're going to line up with this tree here. I'm going to stand basically right in line with it. And as, as you see the boss come into view, uh, we're going to just jump straight up and do insta shield hits. Now, fi after five hits, remember it takes six, so we've only got one to go. Now, after five hits, slightly delay here because it's about to fire at you. And then jump for the last one. Um, let's grab the water shield here. And that's, that's a pretty simple stage. Really, you should be able to get 53 or less very consistently on that stage. Uh, now, moving on to Act 2. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is, once we get to these crumbling blocks here, make sure that you make sure that you stay on them so that both of them break. There's there's the line between the two of them, so you need to go at least this far. But you have to jump before you reach this wall because there's then a breakable wall over here, which if you go through that will lead you to the special stage over there. So. Now jump and start bouncing against the ground like this, and that obviously sends you down to this level faster than falling does. You can also stop there and charge a spin dash as the um, as the platform's falling, much as tails would. Uh, they're about equally fast. So set up your spin dash. Uh, this one, you want to make sure you charge this spin dash a little bit longer than some of the other ones because you need a lot of speed to get over this gap here without jumping. And it saves a fair bit of time. Uh, so then then we then jump from that top section there. We're gonna land in the water, jump onto this far platform and then jump straight off it. Uh, that all needs to be done quite quickly because those platforms uh, will rotate and there's spikes on the bottom of them. So if you don't jump off them quickly, you lose your shield. Uh, and the shield's going to be very important in a moment. So, do another spin dash here. As we go through this tube, you want to start mashing the buttons as soon as you come out. And there are a couple of things that can happen here. So, the ideal case is what's actually going to happen here. You get a bounce straight away and you cannon right down into this spring. That spring then lets you go onto that platform over there. Easy. Um, if you don't get a bounce straight away, what you want to aim for is you can see uh, here the ground is slightly lower than this little patch at the top. So you want to do a bounce from here up to the very corner of this platform, which as you'll see as we move along, is actually slightly lower than the rest of the platform. That's, that's the corner we're aiming for there. and you have just enough of a of height in your bounce to land from the top of the 
platform there down to the bottom up here. So, either way, we move on, hit the switch, come back to here, charge spin Nash. Uh, now, these next couple of jumps are really important because as soon as you get to here and you can see the checkpoint, the, uh, the bridge up ahead, this one here, uh, it has started rotating on the camera timer. And what we're going to do is we're going to get right up near the bridge, do a bounce, and at the top of the bounce, bounce again, and aim for the lightning shield that you can see right down in the corner here. Uh, and it turns out that if you do it that way, then this, plat this platform here will have opened up at just the right time. So, bounce, bounce again, hold, hold your jump button all the way up to here. Try and land on this platform, and then lightning shield up. Uh, something I didn't know about at the time, you can get such a good jump off this ramp here, if you time it just perfectly, about here, just before you go off the edge, you can get a ramp jump and then the lightning shield way up to the platform above here. It's very tricky, would save about two seconds if you nailed it. Uh, you want to time that lightning shield from the right edge of the platform that was here but just disappeared and that should land you perfectly on this yellow spring like that. Uh, here, jump as soon as you land on this bridge. There's a ceiling up here that we're going to hit and maintain spin dash speed into this ramp. Jump straight up, jump over the spikes and now as soon as the step here disappears off the left edge of the screen. Just add 40 seconds to your time now and you, you'll know what your time is going to be. Uh, again, this is complete auto scroller, nothing here actually matters. Until we get to the point where all the bombs have disappeared. Once all, once all the bombs have been dropped, uh, we can actually start charging a spin dash. You wouldn't think this is possible, but it actually is. So you've got just enough time to press left, and you'll skid back this way, and then tap right, tap right as you continue to move to the left. And before you hit the left edge of the screen, quickly start charging a spin dash. All you have to do is, uh, you only have to hit the button once. As long as you start charging the spin dash, you'll get dragged along the left edge of the screen like this. But the reason for doing it is that obviously releasing a spin dash will give you more speed than just running at the end bit. But you have to time it perfectly. Well, not perfectly, but you have to time it pretty well. Now you can see that there are these pairs of trees in the foreground. This is the third one that's come past. And what we want to do is count to nine sets of them. So if that's three, then four, five, six, seven, eight. And here's the ninth one. So we're waiting for this tree, the left one, to reach the very left edge of the screen. And that's when we're going to release the spin dash. Because if you release it any time earlier than that, you'll roll off very slowly. But um, the point when that reaches the left edge of the screen is when you get full control back. So release just then. Now, quickly turn around, three tap spin dash. As soon as you hit the left edge of the screen here, press and hold jump. Okay, now, there is the possibility, because once, um, once Robotnik starts firing the fireballs, uh, it turns to about here, and anything, anytime Sonic goes below about that line, uh, he interacts with the hitbox of the fire, which will hit him and knock him into the pit. So we don't want that. But because it only comes to about here, if you see that either of your first two hits are going to be lower than that, then what you can do is as soon as you get, in this case it's the second hit, 
As soon as I get the second hit, I then move to the right, and Sonic will arc like this out of the way of out of the way of the fireball hitbox, and then he'll bounce back this way. So you can see that play out here. So you can see I moved out of the way. I still get the eight hits as quickly as possible. Um, use the lightning shield to make sure you survive after that last hit. And that is how you speedrun Angel Island. Now, because that's a little bit disjointed, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the entire stage again with no um, with no interruptions. So we'll go back to the start, and you can watch the entire stage again with no interruptions. That's all for Angel Island. See you in Hydrosity. Wow.